All righty, let's dive into another episode. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're brand new, welcome. I see everybody that follows my stuff, comments on it, and views all these videos, so thank you so much. If you clicked on today's link, it probably means that you want to door knock, or at least you're a little curious as to how it works, or how it looks. Well, you have found the right person to come to. Dwayne and I, my business partner, have knocked doors for 15 years. We did it in door to door for our security systems, and now we have done it in real estate. We also coach some of the top door to door realtors worldwide, so you came to the right place. We're gonna dive deep into how to just pick up door to door from all these years that we've experienced into about a 10 minute video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Call me at 702 525 5766, or go ahead and text me. People do it all the time. You're more than welcome to reach out. It doesn't cost you or me anything to hop on the phone. I just want to help. Okay. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, or if you know, you know what's coming. I want this to be a classroom setting. So as we dive into a couple topics on door to door, like how to pick the right area, how to manage that area, mistakes to avoid, and what the scripts are, go grab a notepad. You're going to take a lot of notes. I want you to learn from me, but I also want to learn from you. I want you to feel like you can watch this at the gym or you can sit down at your office and take a bunch of notes and you can really learn the ins and outs of this topic, which they, it's door knocking. Also, before we dive into today's topic, make sure to click subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you get notified every time one of these come out so you don't miss out. You are probably pretty familiar if you follow me on Instagram at door to door real estate or my business partner, Dwayne Richens. You know that we invest a lot of money into our people by having a book club where we prioritize our education. The only competitive advantage that you have in this industry is acquired knowledge and then applying it. So this month we're reading Give and Take, one of the best books on leadership on how to create a win win environment with your clients, but also just how you approach real estate as a whole. Go pick up your copy. If you read something and it just blows your mind, which this book will, tag us on social media. If you do at least 10 and you do it the most, we'll send you your next month's book completely free and covered by us. All right, let's dive into this. We're gonna go 10 minutes as fast as we can on the topic of door-to-door -door real estate. I'm gonna assume here that you're wanting to learn this topic because you're dumping a ton of money into leads and they're not converting. Trust me, we've seen it before. We've had a lot of coaching clients come into our program that had a lot of money on credit cards from leads that they were purchasing that never converted. They came into our program and within a month or two, they had three or four listings, paid off all the debt and were guns a blazing. Or maybe that's not you. Maybe you don't have a database. Maybe you just moved to an area and you need to learn how to pick up deals without having a database. The third option is you're probably cold calling and you're realizing that it's taking a long time to just simply set an appointment and then close it. We've also had those as well. We've had people that have cold called 75, 80, 100 deals a year for lots of years now, and they're realizing there's a shift in the market and they're wanting to learn door to door. Whatever the situation is, this video is for you. I want you to become a door to door master and go crush it in real estate by simply watching our videos and applying these principles. Okay, these are the four principles we're gonna dive into. So grab your notes. We're gonna talk about the hours of knocking. We're gonna talk about the preparation required beforehand. We're gonna talk about common mistakes that people make. And we're gonna talk about the pitch. Okay, let's deep dive into hours. What are the optimal hours to door knock? Most realtors are gonna knock maybe an hour or two and they're only gonna do it around an open house. I've done this for 15 years. That is not the way to convert a high volume of people if you wanna close a lot of deals in real estate. So the hours are gonna be from two o'clock to nine o'clock. Yes, you heard me right. Two o'clock to nine o'clock. Door knocking is a complete shift of your schedule from what you're probably used to with cold calling, buying leads online, or working your database. So why is that the case? Why does this work? This works because it's called prime time. People are home. They're coming home from their jobs or their spouse's home or they're randomly home in the afternoon and it gives you the optimal opportunity to talk to them in person. Also, those first couple hours, you're not gonna have a lot of contacts, but you're gonna get out your bad pitches. You're gonna build momentum and confidence. When you hit four, 435, that's really prime time. That's when everybody's coming home and you're gonna have so many appointments that you'll push until nine o'clock. And trust me, from someone that's knocked all over the nation, no one cares if you knock on their door after six o'clock. Do not be lied to by someone who hasn't done this at this level 
nationwide for this long. So the hours, two to nine. And hopefully you understood why any other amount of hours or any other pockets of the day won't be as effective. You could knock in the morning or a little in the afternoon and you might see a little results. But if you just want an overwhelming amount of deals, knock those hours. Trust the process, don't deviate. During those hours, you're gonna shoot for 10 to 15 contacts an hour. Again, some hours you're gonna get overwhelmed with how many people you talk to, and you might hit five, six, or seven. Other hours, like earlier in the day when you're building momentum, you might hit 11, 12, 13, or up to 15 people. You're shooting for about 50 contacts a day. That's it, super simple. Okay, number two, now let's talk about prep, how to prepare for your area. Two things here. One, do it the night before. If you are waking up, going through your morning routine, and then all of a sudden you're picking a random area to go knock, trust me, you won't do it consistent enough to see results. And two, you probably won't even go out at all. So do it the night before. How are you gonna pick area? You're gonna go off of high turnover, low price point, townhome condos, why? because you're gonna get the sell and the buy. You're gonna get two for one. And most of those people, when they sell their home, they have a lot of friends that make the same amount of money that live in those similar townhomes or condos or small single family homes, and you're gonna get a lot of referrals from. Again, we want you to invest just a little bit of your time to get the most amount of return. So the night before, go choose those areas off of turnover, new listings, pended or closed, pick the exact house you're gonna go park your car at, and do that the night before. The decision's already been made. That way the day of, you don't have to worry about your emotions. You can show up and knock. Okay, another aspect of prep. It's going to have to be with a ritual as you arrive to area and a ritual as you end. What do I mean by that? You need to train your brain to turn on into work mode and turn off into family mode. Most people that try to go door to door come into the doors to prospect and they're carrying all this baggage from what happened earlier in the day. And then they take a horrible day of knocking and they bring that home. So how do you stop that? You get a ritual when you show up to area. When I get up to area, I park my car and I get out immediately. And then I have a five minute ritual where I watch the same motivational video from Les Brown that I've watched for 15 years. I'm gonna say my fears and affirmations out loud, eat a piece of candy, say a prayer and go. That's my ritual. It trains my brain to go into work mode. When I finish the day, I'm gonna have a similar thing where it's five minutes and I can turn off the brain. I'm then going to give all my leads to my VA so they can take care of that. I'm gonna call and FaceTime my family and my kids, tell them how the day went, a crazy story, say a prayer, end the day, get back in my car and go home. You need to book end that knocking period. Okay, that's prep. We've now gone over the hours. We've now gone over prep. We're now gonna go over common mistakes to avoid to just go out and kill it and crush it in real estate going door to door. Number one mistake that I see with realtors that I coach, realtors that I've watched, or salespeople I've trained with or shadowed nationwide going door to door, is you do not honor that hour gap or time frame of knocking. What do I mean by that? If your hours are from two to nine, you show up at two and you knock until nine, period. You have to decide that before you go and knock. What's gonna happen? You're gonna get so busy, you're gonna show up late. Maybe 2.05 the first time. Eh, it's only five minutes. Then 15 minutes. Eh, it's only 15 minutes. And now you're showing up at three, four, five, and now you don't even go. So trust me, show up and honor the time frame. And even if you get four or five listings, let's say by seven o'clock, I don't care. Go until nine. Those habits are more important than anything else, that you honor that time frame. Issue number two is too often you get distracted. Well, what are ways that you can get distracted when you're prospecting door to door? TC work, paperwork, emails, busy work, text messages from realtors. So what do you do there? Well, you take all of that and you give it to your TC. You should have a transaction coordinator that's watching your files, that answers your customers' questions. And you should also have an automated response that when someone texts you, it goes right back to them that you're prospecting and you'll get to them after. That's it. I don't turn it on do not disturb mode because I have a wife and kids and something might happen and I'm gonna answer their call. But she knows not to reach out unless it's life or death. That's how important it is. I value that time because during that time, that's when I make money. The next issue when it comes to managing your area is managing your area. Too often, when you try to go door to door for the first time, you're gonna go up a street, down a street, and you're gonna blow through it. 
The benefit of going door to door is you can kind of zigzag your way and watch when people are home, when they're leaving, when garage doors are opening. So if you go through a street, through another one, and then you're gone and you're like, yeah, that area sucked, I'm never coming back. Hello, that's cold calling in a sense. You blow through an area and then you go the next. The benefit of door knocking is to stay put. Go up a street, knock those that are home, and then turn around and come back down. That's called spot knocking. It's calling stay put. I recommend if you're gonna circle prospect door knock, so pick a house that just closed, go two streets this way, two streets this way, call it. You can be there for a couple days in a row by simply going up, down, back to the first. Up to that one, down to the next, and then you add another one. Then back to the second, back to the first. And the whole time you're spot knocking. Also, another issue with managing area is you don't track the homes that you're talking to. We have a partnership with SalesRabbit. Reach out to us, we can get you a killer discount. It'll mark your entire area. It'll pull up all the homes, you'll click on it. It tells you homeowner information, how long they've lived there, equity, phone number, credit score. So when you click on that, you can see who's there. And then after the interaction, there's labels, not home, not interested, going to sell, investor, and when I come back to the area the next day, I can pull up my map and I can see exactly what is going on in that neighborhood. Even when I come back three, four, five months later, I can pull up that data and pick it up right where I left off. Okay, we've now covered hours, prep, mistakes to avoid. The last one's going to be the pitch. Guys and girls, the pitch is very simple, okay? This is how it goes. Hi, Jeremy with EXP. Sorry to bug you, I'll be really quick. Did any of the neighbors tell you I was coming by? Okay, no worries. The reason I wanted to catch you is actually because, and this is where you can kind of go two different ways. You can go right into it and say, the real estate market is crazy. Not many people know what's going on. Have you thought about buying, selling, or investing in real estate? The other way is to circle prospect. John and Sally, the house with the big red door, four houses down on the left with the big black truck, and stay confused until they nod. They just listed their house. It's a four bed, two bath, 1800 square feet, and it sold for 490,000. Wait for them to respond. Just curious, with the real estate market as crazy as it is, see how I'm going back to this? Have you thought about buying, selling, or investing in real estate? Whether they say yes, no, no chance, I don't care. Is this your forever home? What are your thoughts on the market? If I could get you X, Y, Z, and show you why it's important and beneficial to you to do that sooner, would you consider moving up your timeline? If they say yes, go into the questions. If they say no, that's okay. You're not going to sell everybody. That's not the point. Those people that either just bought, that's their forever home, whatever, which is a large portion of it. Because if you talk to 200 people a week and you're trying to get 10 sales, that means you only need basically one person a week to say yes to sell and buy. That means you're gonna have probably 795 people a month not have it work out. And that's okay. So for the people that say it's their forever home, the second part of the pitch is now to ask for referrals. If you wanna see the entire pitch, go to my Instagram. I have two videos on this at Door to Door Real Estate. Simply, you're gonna say, you know that your area better than I do. I've actually only been here a couple days. You're gonna turn. Who do you know that I should go talk to that might have a closer timeline than yours? Pause. It's very likely that every time they tell you they don't know anybody. That's okay that I know they're gonna say that. Now you're gonna do what's called prepping their mind. You're going to prime it. Everybody's brain is essentially a filing cabinet. You need to tell it where to go. So you're gonna ask questions based on who's moving nationwide, what type of situations. Okay, no worries, Mr. Prospect. What about, and you're gonna look again, what about people that just had a baby and are looking to upgrade? What about people that are looking to relocate or those that possibly got a divorce or are renting looking to buy? And you're gonna pause. And you're gonna say, eh, no, not anybody. Again, I know that they're going to say that, that's okay. I'm then gonna do it again. The same thing, but different scenarios. After you do it for the third time, and you say, no worries, I appreciate you thinking about it. Let me go ahead and shoot you my card, my digital card. If you think of anybody, just let me know. Then they're gonna go get their phone, I'm gonna give them my card. If they give me a name, then I'm definitely coming back that weekend with a bag of cookies and a thank you card. Take care of those that give you referrals. You gotta remember, most of your deals are gonna come from this person telling you to go talk to this person and they talk to you to go talk to that person and you list their house. That's how it works. So you have to understand that everybody you talk to has a network of about 200 people up here 
And if you prime their brain the right way, they'll tell you where to go. Okay, that's a wrap guys. I wanted to keep this short and sweet so you can go and crush it in real estate. Whether you're buying leads and they're not converting, or you just moved to an area and you don't have a database, or you're sick of cold calling, even though you're closing a lot of deals and you wanna start door knocking. These are the four things that I would advise to you to go and crush it right out of the gate. Learn the hours, learn how to prep, avoid the mistakes, and learn the pitch. If you have any questions outside those four topics, reach out to us. We have so much free content that we will send you. Just reach out. If you need to learn how to put a business plan together or a vision board, we have that, reach out. If you wanna know the schedule in more detail, we have that, reach out. If you wanna learn how to weekly plan or quarterly plan, we have that, reach out. If you want a detailed, in-depth walkthrough of the listing process, we have that, reach out. If you want my cover letter that I give to people that sell their home, that's basically my value prop, we have that, reach out. Right now we're building, and we'll wrap up right here, but we're building one of the largest sales curriculum manuals and online videos so that you can learn the skills necessary to go crush it. We want you to close deals. If you have any questions after today's video, please reach out. If you haven't subscribed, click that button, turn on the notifications and reminders. And I just really, really hope that you love door knocking, that you enjoy your process. If you haven't knocked a door for your first time before, call me after, I really wanna hear about it. Best of luck guys and let's catch you next time.